welcome to Revlog in happy, 2024. Happy New Year, Pastor. Yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. And, and I have to say, as we gather around the table, this smells wonderful. Bo- both of the coffee coming off here ah. is just... Yes, yeah, so I thought you were a pleasant aroma. The evergreen, yeah. I, I, I don't think the evergreen is, <laughs> has an aroma. Your, your coffee does. And I, I don't personally drink coffee, but I love the smell of it. I, I know you don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we talked about that last week too. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's, I found we, we the hard way. Yeah, we won't forgive you for that anytime soon. <laughs> if oh, if but, someone doesn't forgive you, mm-hmm. then the Lord doesn't forgive mm-hmm. you. I think that's what <laughs> we're talking about that today. Remember that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but I love we get to have coffee together um, in, in this time together. We get to experience what a, what a You're time. experiencing yeah. it. We're drinking it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so today we, we come to the Lord's Prayer, and, and this this is a text we've we've come to. Uh, I think three times uh, during the yeah, video series. Th- probably three times um, we've discussed this, but we can always. That's right. Find. There's, you mean, there's while, a reason since we've been doing this. I believe mm-hmm. so. The, yeah. We've done the Luke one for sure when we did yeah, the, the prayers, right. and I think I think we've we've come at this one for another reason. I, I'm trying to remember, but no, I think that's right. I think yeah. this is we, a we third inched time. right up to it last time. Well, and 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 contextually, it's it's interesting to know as far as reverse and the blog that um, Pastor Don set out for a year writing yeah. blogs on this text every, every, every day. day, this, and that's why it's called the everyday prayer. Yeah, that, that's where this started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Or thank you. Yeah. And that's why we call this the everyday prayer. So um, what okay. more can be said? <laughs> We're going to try. <laughs> right right, right. We're going to do our best. <laughs> yeah. Don blogged about this for a year. We've already, we've already come to it twice yeah. in our time together. Um, this is this is how we interact with the scriptures, isn't it? That's we, right. We we come back to these Amen. texts, and the yeah. Lord gives us freshness um, every time. That's right. So, Aaron, you you start us so as you you come to this again. Um, where did the Lord speak to you through this text this time? Well, it's there's there's um there's a series of of there's a songbook called the Italian Twenty Four Italian Songs and Arias. Um, and in, in, I was just thinking about that. Today. In, in teaching are you being, circles, are you being serious? No, no, because oh, I have no idea what he's talking about. In teaching circles, uh, most studios call them the Italian hits, the, the 24 hits. Okay. Because if you're a young music student, you're going to sing through them at some point, and, yeah. and uh, they're almost looked down upon because they're kind of beginning entry level, but but and they're pretty common, they're very common. Yeah. Um, until you hear a, a, a voice faculty do them. And and you realize there's a reason why these are the 24 Italian are the hits because they are so good. Now they may be accessible, but you know when done with with high quality, it's it's very similar to, to oh, these kinds good. of texts yeah. that that we all know them, we all ex- access them. But but really, and there's, there's a, a there's a reason. there's a reason it, yeah. because it 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 when you mine the depths of it, it is just it is unendingly giving and yeah. and. And you, know, you, one of the things you look at this when Jesus says, "Pray in this way," and there's there's two ways to look at that, and and I think both are absolutely right. Pray these words, pray pray pray. The, and, and you know, you, there are many fellowships that will pray every week. They'll pray, yeah, pray word these for words, word. word for word. Yeah. There, you know, there's some uh, context of, of uh, devotionals that will have you pray it every day. These mm-hmm. words, um, but then there's also, and and one of the ways I really love this is when Jesus gives a template to say, you know, when you access the the, the throne, you know, first of all, come come and, and and humble yourself and recognize that you know who is speaking and and to whom you are speaking. So give reverence, and when you say yeah. you. You are hallowed, you are holy, you are other, you are great. And then everything else that follows for that is, you know, as you pray and as you think about petitioning and, and what, what you need for the day and, and for the things that you have done wrong, shape, shape first with a gaze heavenward. I mean, that's how we, mm-hmm. uh, that's how, um, we structure our worship is we always look heavenward mm-hmm. first and then everything that follows is, is a result of that kind of template. Yeah, it, it is a beautiful template, and you know, I always love that he gets to repentance. You know, a, <laughs> a, a note here. He throws that in there for you. Yeah, just <laughs> throws that in there for you, yeah. <laughs> Brian. So as you, you you came to this anew, yeah. um, how, how did the Lord um, reveal Himself to you in this? You know, you were talking about uh, repeating these words verbatim. Mm-hmm. You know, 
earlier, you mentioned that. And um, some congregations, as you said, do that every Sunday. I grew up in a tradition that looked askance at doing anything by rote. Right. But as I think about that, it doesn't make any sense, really, because we sing hymns. We don't, we don't just make up words to the hymns as we sing them, as we feel that we ought to do that. <laughs> um, and Can't have an improv Sunday. An I- yeah, right. Can't do that. <laughs> improv hymn singing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll wear my turtleneck. Uh, but... but uh, you play the bongos, and I'll wear my turn like. But um, we have prayers through the centuries, and, and certainly yeah. none shining more brightly than the Lord's Prayer here. But uh, praying verbatim this prayer would, it seems to me, would that's how we learn the language of heaven. Yeah. You know, I mean, you repeat mm. that, and you you let it sink in, and you say it again and again. And it's, it's uh, I mean, you could do it mindlessly, mm-hmm. but you can do anything mindlessly, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but I think it has great value for that. And then narrowing in on one of the things, um, one of the portions of this prayer, the forgiveness portion, yeah. um, you know, he says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And there was a... A commentator um, I read not long ago that said that this is a way simply of uh, forgiveness is simply asking God not to punish you for the things you do wrong. Um, it, it it is, and and when we forgive somebody, that's what that's what we are doing. We are not seeking to punish that person for what that person did wrong. It it doesn't mean that 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 person or that we, you know, in receiving forgiveness from God will avert consequences. Right. That's just the way the universe works as designed by God. But, but punishment, uh, w- God can avert that uh, from us. He can say, I, I will not hold that to your account. I will not punish you for that. And, and we, in the same way with others, um, if we have... And, and this particular commentator said he used the word pity instead of mercy, and he said, you know, that's a that's a more that makes us squirm a little bit more because we think of pity as a as a um, condescending kind yeah, of word, degrading. yeah, word. degrading. Yeah. Um, but really, that's just through common usage. It really has the started out mean, meaning the same thing as pity, but uh, but it, it cuts a little bit deeper to use that word and and to live with others uh, on the basis of pity is not really to look down on them it's to simply withhold punishment and say I'm not going to freeze that person out um, and it makes life possible yeah. life just grinds to a halt if we cannot do that for one another and the same thing, yeah. life with God grinds to a halt. And once we have experienced that pity from God, mm. we cannot, um, if we're going to be experiencing that, we, we cannot, um, just from a, a, an emotional standpoint, we cannot withhold that from others. If we're really receiving that from God, we can't withhold that from others. And, and just the opposite is true. We can't really experience that from God if we're going to withhold that from others because we've, we've closed all those gates. Yeah. So it's just yeah. kind of a beautiful thing there that Jesus Yeah, and it's always striking to me, uh, where you're going with this, that the Lord's Prayer is shaped by this forgiveness. Yeah. And it's, it's yeah. it, Jesus gives this clear explanation following the prayer uh, yeah. of how the mercy of God should be lived out in our lives. Yeah. Um, and um, we'll we'll be worse off if it if it isn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Aaron, what what question came to mind as you read? Well, I would I would say something like, how does my life reflect this prayer? Um, how how do I live out the Lord's prayer in my in my daily walk? For instance, like in my my prayers of, of confession and repentance, just, you know, Lord, forgive me f- for this. But then the prayer continues, lead me not into temptation, temptation right? Yep. deliver me from evil. And am I, 
am I using those the forgiveness as you know, I know God will forgive me, uh, yeah. or am I am I saying, Lord, mm. remove me from this situation, keep keep me from that, or do I just blindly just run into it with this idea that He's I've got this get out of jail card? Yeah, I right. mean, how how am I using my own forgiveness? Am I am I taking that idea of 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 guarding my situations, guarding mm-hmm. my heart, guarding whatever from anything that would take me away from? You're in heaven and you're holy, and I I cannot come into your presence without being pure. So the the entirety of that scripture, just asking for what we need, and for also that guardianship, that protection. So that you know, am I am I living my life as I would pray this prayer? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Good word, Brian. What question came to mind for you? What are the sneaky ways that I seek to mete out punishment to people who have wronged me? I I can I can have you know I may withhold a smile, you Mm -hmm. know, or I may avert my eyes, you know, because I, I don't want to think, I don't want that person to think that he Mm -hmm. or she is worthy of, you know, my attention, Mm -hmm. which, you know, I mean, all these are small ways that I might seek to freeze somebody out based upon a, a wrong that I have felt from that person. And I, to the extent that I'm doing that, I am not living in forgiveness mm-hmm. towards that person, and I am effectively closing myself off from receiving that from God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we'd love to hear your thoughts as you come anew to the Lord's Prayer again, if you'd comment below. <laughs>